let's attempt to soak some manifolds in a box and some plastic. Hopefully it holds the fluid and doesn't leak. Let me show you what I'm doing. All right, it's just a box, big chunk of plastic. It's pretty durable, thick stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping I don't have any holes in it. That doesn't look too promising. Uh, we're gonna fill this up with uh, evapo rust and let it sit out here in the sunlight and let it sit for 24 hours and see what it does to this manifold. All right, I don't know if this fluid is still good, but it's been used. Let's see if it still has any more, any uh, rust fighting power. I'll tell you right now, I don't have enough. Well, I don't have enough fluid, so I may just have to rotate it after uh, a day of sitting. We'll see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> 24 hours later, I added two more gallons of that uh, evapo rust into this box thing that I made up. And uh, I shored up the side of the box with some wood, which brought the bags even closer, and, uh, and, and tucked in some of the plastic on the other side to bring the bags even closer to the manifolds. Um, so I was able to cover 90% of it, except for the bottom of the manifold that you can still see. So let's go ahead and unwrap this, pull them out, rinse them in the uh, utility sink here and see what we got. All right, so you can see here, we've got two blocks of wood, which is pushing this fluid up against this way. And I stuffed all this extra plastic in here to do the same thing on that side. Doesn't look like it did that good a job. Let's get it in the sink and rinse it. Vapor rust, it works.